Yovalim Jubilees 33. And Yaakov went and dwelt to the south of Magadala Dra'af. And he went to his father, Yitzhak, he and Leah, his woman, on the new moon of the tenth month. And Reuven saw Bilha, Rachel's maid, the concubine of his father, bathing in water in a secret place. And he loved her. And he hid himself at night. He entered the house of Bilha at night. He found her sleeping alone on a bed in her house. And he lay with her. And she awoke and saw. Behold, Reuven was lying with her in the bed. And she uncovered the border of her covering and seized him and cried out and discovered that it was Oreuven. She was ashamed because of him and released her hand from him and he fled. And she lamented because of this thing exceedingly and did not tell it to anyone. And when Yaakov returned and sought her, she said unto him, I am not clean for you, for I have been defiled as regards you. And Reuven has defiled me, and has lain with me in the night. And I was asleep, and did not discover until he uncovered my skirt, and slept with me. And Yaakov was exceedingly wroth with Reuven, because he had lain with Bilha, because he had uncovered his father's skirt. And Yaakov did not approach her again because Reuven had defiled her. And as for any man who uncovers his father's skirt, he is indeed. Rather, his deed is wicked exceedingly. For he is abomination before Yahuwah. For this reason it is written and ordained on the heavenly tablets that a man should not lie with his father's woman and should not not uncover his father's skirt. For this is unclean. They shall surely die together. The man who lies with his father's woman and the woman also, for they have wrought uncleanness on the earth. There shall be nothing unclean before our Elohim in the nation which he has chosen for himself as a possession. And again, it is written a second time, Cursed be he who lies with the woman of his father. For he has uncovered his father's shame. And all the Kodashim of Yahuwah said, So be it, so be it. And do you, Moshe, command the children of Yashara'el that, th that they observe this word? For it entails a punishment of death, and it is unclean, and there is no atonement forever to atone for the man who has committed this. But he is to be put to death and slain, and stone with stones, and rooted out from the midst of the people of Elohim. For to no man who does so in Yashadael is it permitted to remain alive a single day on the earth, for he is abominable and unclean.
and let them not say, Tureven was granted life and forgiveness after he had lain with his father's concubine. And to her also, though she had a man, and her man Yaakov, his father, was still alive. For until that time there had not been revealed the ordinance and judgment, and Torah in its completeness for all. But in your days it has been revealed as a Torah of seasons and of days, and an everlasting Torah for the everlasting generations. And for this Torah there is no consummation of days and no atonement for it. They must both be rooted out in the midst of the nation on the day whereon they committed it. They shall slay them. And do you, Moshe, write it down for Yasharel that they may observe it and do according to these words, and not commit a sin unto death. For Yahuwah Eloheinu is judge, who respects not persons and accepts not gifts. And tell them these words of the covenant. That they may hear and observe, and be on their guard with respect to them and not be destroyed and rooted out of the land. For an uncleanness and an abomination and a contamination and a pollution are all they who commit it on the earth before our Elohim. There is no greater sin than the fornication which they commit on earth. For Yashara El is a holy nation unto Yahuwah, its Elohim, and a nation of inheritance, and a priestly and royal nation, and for his own possession. There shall no such uncleanness appear in the midst of the holy nation. And in the third year of the sixth week, Yaakov and all his sons went and dwelt in the house of Avraham. Near Yitzhak, his father, and Rivka, his mother. And these were the names of the sons of Yaakov. The firstborn, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, Yishakar, Zebulun the sons of Leah, and the sons of Rachel, Yosef, and Binyamin, and the sons of Bilha, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Gad, and Asher, and Dinah, the daughter of Leah, the only daughter of Yaakov. And they came and bowed themselves to Yitzhak and Rivka, and when they saw them, they blessed Yaakov and all his sons. And Yitzhak rejoiced exceedingly, for he saw the sons of Yaakov, his younger son, and he blessed them.